What's going on, everybody? Hey, you guys. Welcome back to East Africa with Willie and Rachel. We're super excited to be sitting with you. Yes, we Again, are. hallelujah. So, Rachel, what are we talking about? Today, we are going to be talking about the life lessons mm -hmm. from Caleb, Amen. one of my favorite men Amen. of God. And I just love reading through his Amen. life, his story, and what God did in him and through him. Yes. Because there's not tons and tons not written about written Caleb. About Caleb but, but what's what there? is there is yeah. so powerful. Yeah, amen. And so we're going to be diving into some kind of the motivations that we see behind mm -hmm. his decision making and things like this. And you know, Caleb, you could start, we're going to kind of start in and brush over some things, but in numbers chapter 13, this is where the children of Israel had an opportunity yeah. to go into the, to the promised land in a, in a pretty quick manner. And they send out spies, Joshua and Caleb come back and they give a very positive mm -hmm. uh, testimony of what it was. They said, yes, there are giants. The land is amazing and we are well able to take it. They were focused on the word and what God had spoken to them. Yeah. And they said, we are well able to go take it. They weren't confused. The fact that God had given no, it to them, they weren't. but they needed to go take it. Hallelujah. And the rest of the children the, the, from the other 10 tribes, they gave a very negative report. And they said, we are but grasshoppers in their sight. And we are but grasshoppers in our Ours. own sight. Praise yeah. God. And so I'm going to jump in now, okay. Rach. And I'm going to read from Joshua chapter 14. And verse, I'm going to start in verse 6. So this is after like the, the children of Israel then had to go wander through, through the uh, desert. The wilderness. The wilderness. Yeah. For 40 years because of the judgment that God pronounced over them. It's basically said, you know, because of all this doubt, because of all this unbelief, mm -hmm. you're going to wander the desert for 40 years. None of this generation is going to yeah. get, come in and except Caleb and Joshua. He honored their honoring the word of God. Mm -hmm. Praise God. So this is when they're coming into the, to the, to the promised land. And it says in Joshua chapter 14, verse six, then the children of Israel then the children of Judah came to Joshua in Gilgal, and Caleb, the son of Jephunneh, the Ke uh, Kenizzite, excuse me, said to him, You know the word which the Lord said to Moses, the man of God, concerning you and me in Kedesh Barnea. I was 40 years old when Moses, the servant of the Lord, sent me from Kedesh Barnea to spy out the land. And I brought back word to him as it was in my mm, heart. That's amazing. Ne ne <clears throat> nevertheless, my brethren who went up with me made the heart of the people melt. Mm -hmm. But I wholly followed the Lord, my God. So Moses swore on that day saying, surely the land where, the, where your foot has trodden shall be your inheritance and your children's forever. Because you have wholly followed the Lord, my God. And now behold, the Lord has kept me alive. As he said, these 45 years, even since the Lord spoke this word to Moses, while, while Israel wandered in the wilderness, and now here I am this day, 85 years old. As yet I am the strong this day, as on the day that Moses sent me. Just as my strength was then, so now is my strength for war, mm. both for going out and for coming in. It's pretty it's amazing. It's amazing. And so there's so much over, yeah. here. I feel like so we read through yes. that whole thing. Let's just go back and start. Okay, Praise at God. the beginning yes. and really dive so into this. Here's the, line. the backdrop of this, and so and it keeps going. A few verses we'll get to, but the mm -hmm. backdrop of this basically is amazing because it really signifies. It's not just like he stood up and said something right. once. He's speaking from deep convictions mm -hmm. within his own heart and. That word that is being spoke has so much faith, so much mm. power with it, but it's coming from a person who's not do, going through religious things, religious operations to try to get God to do something. He was in faith because he knew some things, praise God. And Caleb said, I was 40 years old when Moses, the servant of the Lord, sent me from Kedesh Barnea mm -hmm. to spy out the land and brought back word to him as it was in my heart. Yeah, let's mm -hmm. let's go right there. Mm -hmm. First of all, here comes Caleb. Come right up to Joshua, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? And this boldness of faith. Yeah. And he begins to say, you know what the yeah. Lord said. Yeah. And he talks about how, how it was in his heart. Yeah. Amen. And what I find mm -hmm. is amazing is that same word that shaped his heart, yes. that same belief that mm -hmm. shaped his heart when he went to the land and put his eyes on it and spied it yes. out. And had no backing down in him. And yeah. he came back and gave that good report. Mm -hmm. And he said, we're well able. Mm -hmm. His heart then 
for jump jump ahead yeah. 40 years mm -hmm. is still resonating mm -hmm. with that same word that the lord had spoke amen it's amazing and there's uh, uh, hello. because a lot of people rach i feel like they like the they like the idea of what faith can bring to them sure right but there's more to faith than just like some formula that you do like you could say like this okay just fast forward to the new testament the words of jesus in mark 11 23 and 24. Mm -hmm. he said if you confess with your mouth and believe in your heart and it's amazing you see caleb operating in that yep it says that he's just yep. speaking from his heart you know what I mean? Yeah. Yes, he is speaking faith. Yes, he is speaking truth, which is so important. We have to use our authority. But it's coming from a place mm -hmm. of he's not just doing and going through religious things. He's speaking something that yeah. he took time to to condition in himself. Right. And it says he says that when he's speaking and he's he's, he's saying these things, he says the children of Israel were wandered, wandering through the desert. What's amazing is Caleb said they were wandering through the desert. Yeah. He was so focused on what he was going to receive. He was so focused on yeah. believing God. He knew where he was going. Yep. And this really separates yeah. a lot of people who are connecting with the mm -hmm. Lord and people who are not connecting with the Lord. They might be doing some of the same stuff on the outside. Mm -hmm. But people who are not connecting with the Lord in a real relationship, Rach, right. in something where they're being fueled, they're not trying to move God around, but it's them who's yeah. getting moved day by day, right. right? It's them who's getting shaped on the inside and they're growing in excitement, mm -hmm. praise God. And so we see that Caleb had this fire in him. Yeah. And so this 40 years there in the wilderness Although the children of Israel were in a wandering state, mm -hmm. he was in a seeing and yeah. calling those things which are not as though they were. He was in that state of mm -hmm. looking forward and going towards something. Mm -hmm. And it's amazing because people I oftentimes talk to, Rich, and they want to walk in faith, but they're not going towards anything. Right. They're randomly confessing mm -hmm. different stuff. And, and again, I'm not saying it's necessarily wrong. wrong. We should be speaking positive no matter mm -hmm. what. But God puts prosperity inside our path. Yep, absolutely. Caleb was going towards what God had given him, yeah. and he wasn't trying to get God to give him something apart from that path. He was going down that path, yes. reaching toward yes. the goal of the finish line. Absolutely, because it wasn't Caleb's idea yep. to go into the promised land. Mm -mm. Caleb didn't go and say, like, you know what? Wow, yeah, that yeah. looks like an awesome place. <laughs> I think I want that one. Right. God spoke this to him. Yeah. Now, when he heard this mm -hmm. and he knew, okay, God is giving us that land yeah. flowing with milk and honey. Now it was hit. Now he, he did something in his heart mm -hmm. that some people don't do when mm -hmm. they hear the word. He made it his. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Amen. He made it his. Mm -hmm. He took it in. He parted. He said, yes, he mm -hmm. laid hold yeah. of it. So when he went to spy it out. He was in line with Amen. what God had said. He didn't say, this is my idea, my plan, and my mm -hmm. thought. He said, okay, if this is what God said, then God's backing us. Then it's God's power. It's Amen. God's might working through. Amen. So when he didn't get to enter, mm -hmm. you know what? He didn't let go of that word. No. He didn't let go of that promise. Mm -hmm. It shows he knew something about the character of God. Yeah. Yeah. He did. I mean, absolutely. Amazing. Yeah. So when he's going through the wilderness, I mean, think about that. 40 years. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Some of us believe for a new car, believe yeah. for a house or this or that for a few years. Yeah. And if we don't see it, we're kind of like, uh, A lot of people fall away uh, and get like, discouraged and all that stuff. Absolutely. Yeah. And Caleb is marching 40 years and he's not compromised in that belief. Not one bit. He marches right up Amen. to Joshua and says, this is what the Lord has said. Amen. Be it unto what the Lord has said. Amen. Amen. Praise God. And this is where confidence... True absolutely. Faith. Boldness, and that, that confidence, true absolutely. mountain moving faith, those convictions, praise yeah. God. And that's what we're going to get into in the next, in the next segment is literally uh, talking about those convictions mm -hmm. and how going towards that goal kept Caleb on a track out of offense and everything else. Yep. So, All right. Stay good. tuned, you guys. We're yes. so blessed to be with you. We'll see you next time. See you guys.